Hey guys, so it's my birthday in the next few days and I decided to do um, birthday shopping, sort of, yeah. So the plan, I would, the target basically is to spend at least every of my November earnings on shopping. So it's my birthday in the next few days and I decided to do um, birthday shopping, sort of, yeah. So the plan, I would, the target basically is to spend at least every of my November earnings on shopping, honestly, because the truth is I've actually been working really hard for the past couple of months trying to sort out my, you know, dissertation as I'm adding off my program and at the same time trying to Keep giving you guys content every week. I upload three videos every week on this channel. And I've got some other online gigs I do to keep myself busy. And it's really been an exhausting couple of months for me. Like, I'm practically swamped with loads of work. Even on my Telegram group, it's been difficult for me to engage actively because of loads of, you know, activities I'm currently engaged in. So as a matter of fact, if you have not joined my Telegram group, go on the description of this video and click on the link to join my telegram group and also um so i'll be going out now to i'm actually out already for the shopping so i've got a couple of stores a couple of corporate wares and you know some other stores i think i need to get because it's been a while i've actually gone shopping so i'm going to spend it quite a lot today i'm a bit nervous and you know i'm skeptical about spending that kind of amount on those stores but I actually do need to get them because obviously I need to get some corporate ways um, you know in preparation for my life after school in the next couple of months and um, you know and some other dates because I think it's time to start thinking of getting married <laughs> honestly like you know so you need to start going on dates and all of the stores and you need to look fresh mm -hmm. you know what I mean <laughs> yeah so I'm going down to um, Metro Centre yeah in Newcastle so let me say that I've got like loads of um, just online stores I you know so going to different stores like Zara H&M um, Next and so many other you know shopping um, stores yeah in Newcastle so I'm going to show you guys all through the process of the way and um, I'm supposed to meet up with a friend in the next one hour yeah so we can do the shopping together and all of the stuff so in case i come back on this video later and you see me not smiling just know that i practically spent all the money <laughs> i've got in my bank account but anyway let's just go down straight into the shopping experience yeah
Metro Center and um, I'm going to do like a little bit of unboxing of the stuff I got at the Metro Center. So I couldn't do much video at the Metro Center because of, honestly, I never knew shopping is this stressful, honestly, especially with you, you making a choice of what to buy. Like you, you've, got, you've, you've got a lot of amazing things that you can buy and obviously you need to check your pocket, you can't buy everything. So the decision of choosing what to buy and what not to buy or what to buy and what to buy later can be really difficult, honestly. Actually, every you ladies that go on shopping spray practically every month. <laughs> honestly, going on shopping should be a job on its own. It's, it's, it's disgusting. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I bought and honestly, it's... it's I, I don't know what to say, honestly, because I've practically spent every single money I kept I actually even went beyond because I saw it but I was done shopping and I saw a particular shoe I was like no way I'm definitely buying this so I went back and paid for the shoe so this Christmas is going to be a dirty Christmas I'm probably going to be very humble this Christmas honestly because I I've got like uni work to do so I won't be working so much in December and I've spent every money I've made in November already and I've got rents to pay in December also but we'll be fine. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I bought. So just keep watching and don't go anywhere. So guys, I just got back from doing um, shopping for my birthday. And this happens to be like my second birthday since I came into the United Kingdom. And you know, last year I couldn't do much because I had loads of uh, financial obligation at that time. I think I was just running off paying the balance of my tuition fee at that time. So this year I decided to, you know, do shopping, decided to spend. Practically my, my one month earning on a day shopping so in case you see me next in the next video and i'm not looking so bright just know it's because sapa has entered <laughs> all right so that by the way so i actually went to um the biggest um shopping mall in newcastle uh, it's called metro center and i had to get a couple of things you know i had different um stores and brand in mind to get some stores and i obviously aside from the fact that i plan spending quite a lot of money on this shopping I also need to ensure I don't spend beyond limits before the bank start calling me for overdraft <laughs> and all of that stuff. So basically, at the end of you know the old toll and all, I decided to settle for H and M and Zara. And ah, the initial plan was to leverage on the fact that I, I was a student, so I could get like student discounts. So I went with my school ID card. <laughs> my sister and brothers, unfortunately, I couldn't get any discount because the um, H and M and Zara, they had no discount for students. I can't see them at the moment, but I don't think we actually have discount for students. And you know, but some other brands like River Island, those kind of places, have got like discount for students. I think ten percent discount or thereabouts. So, if you plan to do like major shopping in the UK, ensure that you confirm if the um, the shopping store or shopping or whatever you're going to has got like student discounts. So, um, I eventually said so for. Um, H H and M and um, Zara, as I said, so I got some stores also from um, Zara, and um, the things are quite they're quite affordable to be honest. Like affordable is relative depending on the individual, but they're quite quite expensive to be honest. So um, I'm going for like a mini vacation for my birthday. You guys just stay tuned on this channel. You're going to be seeing full detail about this vacation and. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to anyway, so you guys will know in the next video. <laughs> Alright, so that's by the way, so I got some stores and, you know, because I'm working in Fates, yeah, hoping that by the time I'm done with school, I will eventually get a good job, which I'm really hoping. And uh, so I decided to do some, you know, I actually missed wearing this kind of stores, to be honest, because of the fact that while I was in Nigeria, I was working as a banker, so, but well, since I got to UK, I've never worn anything corporate. So I've always been trainers, t-shirts, and jeans and all. So I tried to get like a corporate shoe. Um, I got a shoe from um, H and M. I got a shoe from H and M. So, so yeah, office wear is getting ready. So, and this is not just for office wear anyway. It's also for dates because it's time for a man, this man of God, to look for a girlfriend and marry. <laughs> so this is for dates, for corporate wears and all of those stuffs. Yeah. So I got this from H and M. And um. Uh, I also decided, so I tried to get like two pairs of that, not couple of two, but I think something a bit more official. So I got this from um, Zara. This looks nice. Looks nice, but quite expensive anyway. So I got this from Zara also. Uh, yeah, so as I said, in a few days I'm going for vacation for my birthday. So um, I'm going to need 
something to you know it's it's winter already so i'll need something to up with the cold and all so i got this i've got quite a, a few but i decided to just buy this something new you know it's birthday so i've got to wear something new for the birthday so i just i bought something like this then i i got i got this i was a bit fascinated about this so i just decided to get it just to you know i don't know if i'm going to probably wear it but I just decided to get this. So I got this from um, H&M also. So it's going to look a bit weird, but yeah. <laughs> so I got this from H&M. Just something to you know give me a different look. And all of those stuff. So hope it's hope it's nice. Hopefully, yeah. So I got this from H&M, and um, then uh, also bought yeah. So I I bought um, this particular um, jacket because I wanted. Uh, as I said, I'm going to it's quite cold, so. I have to buy this jacket. I've always wanted to buy this uh, jacket. To be honest, I'm like I've always wanted to buy this jacket, so I decided to buy this. Yeah, so that's this for for that's for this trip. So you guys are going to see the full picture when I travel and share um, the vlog with you guys later. Because the truth is, the bills in UK will never stop. That's the reality. It will never stop. You always pay bills. So if you're saying, oh, you're not going to treat yourself because of bills and all of the stuff so you just end up not living life to the fullest to be honest with you guys so transfer accessible even while you're um uh, trying to sort out bills at the same time you are also living because uk can be frustrating so if you don't try to leave you just end up not seeing anything you know really happening so i bought some quite other clothes also um that are in here so i'm not gonna bore you guys with what is in this i've got like few stores in here also so now i was done shopping and spent hundreds of pounds i decided that okay daniel it's time to respect yourself and go home <laughs> so my way out i just couldn't resist the shoe i saw my way out in zara this shoe is so nice and cute i don't know if you can see it properly really really nice so I, I just couldn't resist it so i had to go a bit beyond my budget to get this nice trainers because some of the stuff i bought from nigeria i've got like quite a number of white trainers to be honest but some of the stuff i brought from nigeria and a few things i bought when i came into the uk last year they're a bit like they're not getting old per se but they're getting a bit tight for me i don't know probably because i, I wanted some weight since i came into the uk so i got the trainer i got some other few things in this um huge bag over here just to you know um make myself feel a bit rewarded for the hard work like living in the uk for those of you that live in the uk you know what i mean living in this uk is it's just something else so i just had to find a way to reward myself for the hard work i do um, here on the space on youtube the hard work i do for my academics like honestly studying the uk can be frustrating because if you're doing a master's program especially they are not expecting you to depend so much on lectures they expect you to also go the extra mile and learn things yourself self-learning basically so i was able to go through all of those things. i practically attended almost all my lectures while i was while i was in my coursework here in the united kingdom and it's it's been an amazing journey honestly to be sincere with you guys it's been an amazing journey and i'm really hoping i'm going to enjoy this my birthday like second birthday in the uk last my last birthday i think i spent major part of my day oh yeah i was at home then i later went for like a sightseeing or something here in the uk but this time around i'm traveling outside the uk yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, be I won't be tempted to actually give you guys full details. Just keep watching this channel and wait for the next video that I'll be posting on this channel. So that's all about that. So I'm just going to start packing my stuff for my traveling from today and you know, do some facial work on this look. <laughs> I don't know, those stuff. So it's been an amazing experience for me here in the United Kingdom. And at the moment, I'm working on my dissertation, and that Elena has been taking a troll on me a lot of. I was on the phone with my supervisor yesterday and you know, give all these feedbacks and you need to go back to what you've done before and put a little bit of touch on it. So it is what it is. So guys, so now that's all about my shopping experience, planning my trip for my second birthday in the United Kingdom. And I'll be showing you guys, I'll be taking you guys, you guys know, trust me now. I'll take you guys through your journey of my trip outside the UK for this. I think I'm already sharing too much <laughs> my trip outside the uk for this birthday and i really hope i have lots of fun just you know to get away from this old stress and work and you know to just enjoy myself like enjoy my myself for the moment so that's all about this video so if you're currently in the uk and you, know, you want to share your experience of how life has been in the uk how you're managing bills because the truth is bills don't go finish you still keep paying the bills even till eternity people you see people at its system this country is still working because they've got bills they've got like 
mortgage to pay and all of those stuff. But just try as much as possible to have fun and enjoy yourself while you're living in the United Kingdom, even as a student and all of those stuff. So this will be the end of this video. If you find this video a bit interesting, please click on the like button. And uh, if you want to know more about some of the stuff I share on this channel as regards to location and moving abroad, living in the UK, living outside your home country, please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. And for my eternal subscribers, those, those that have been here for a long time, you know, supporting this channel, I honestly do thank you a lot for granted. Thank you for the love. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video. Let me go and start packing my stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video.